Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a question and answer video. So as you know, I took a little step back from YouTube a couple, two, three months ago and just kind of regrouped and got my diet back dialed in. And during that time, I got a lot of questions either by DM or on Instagram or sometimes people will email me questions. So sometimes it's just easier for me to do a question and answer video and answer everything sort of all at once, especially the questions that I get often. And there are a couple that I get all the time. Plus, you know, we have new people and so it kind of brings new people up to speed. So I am going to try to run through these pretty quickly so that I can answer as many as possible. And as always, if you're new here, I am glad that you clicked on this video and hopefully you stick around and think about subscribing. So let's jump right into these. I've got them right in front of me on my little phone here. So I'm going to do my best to be able to see them and buzz through them. Okay. Are you at goal? I am technically not at goal. I was at goal. So when I left YouTube for a little while, I dialed everything back in. I lost 15 pounds and that put me at goal, at the high end of goal. So now that I'm back and life happens as it always does because your weight doesn't just, you don't hit goal and just stay there. You know, you have to kind of continue doing what you do to stay at goal. So I'm bouncing around a little bit right now. So no, I am not at goal. What is your goal weight? My goal weight is 140 to 145. So I put it in that range so that I have a little play in there. So I am a little bit higher than the 145. As of this morning, I was 148.7. But I like to push down a little bit closer towards the 140 mark because if not, see, I swing outside of my high end of my goal. How do you track calories with Weight Watchers? Do you track in the app? I do not. I do track in the app for my points, of course, but I don't track calories with Weight Watchers because it's super hard to do. Yes, you can find the calories and the nutrients. If you scroll down when you track a food, you can see it, but then you have to add it up. So what I do, also because I'm working with a dietitian now and I want her to be able to see my food logs and she can't see them in Weight Watchers. So I track in my fitness pal. It is a free app and I made her my friend and gave her access to my food logs so she can see everything that I'm eating. And I really enjoy my fitness pal. Like I said, it's free. You can track on your PC or on your phone, which I love. That's one of the things I like about Weight Watchers. And it tallies everything for you. It tallies down your goals, your macronutrients, your calories. I really like it. You set your own goals. You can put your weight in there. It's just, it's a great app, honestly. Um, is double tracking annoying? It's not annoying. Is it an extra step? Yes. Is it worth it? Yes. And the reason is I have learned so much doing it about my eating habits and where I'm getting the most amount of points and calories. And I've discovered recently that it is in the snack category, which I would have never said that would be the case, but it is. So is it annoying? No, it's an extra step, but it's definitely worth the extra step. Um, how tall are you? I am 5'4". How many points and weeklies do you get? I get 21 points and 21 weeklies on my plan. Sometimes people will ask me, I got this actually a lot, what Weight Watchers plan are you on? There aren't, you know, we all have our own personal plan now is the way they do it. There is no blue, green, purple anymore. And I guess maybe people mean, am I doing like one of the older plans? I'm not. I'm just doing the regular personal points thing they have now. Um, do you eat your weeklies? Yes, I do. Every single week, every single one of them, and then some. Because I take a relaxed meal every week and I try to keep it in what my what would be my points and my weeklies, but I do, I normally go over. Um, what is a typical relaxed meal? I tried to put these in order. So t for me, a typical relaxed meal is Mexican, out to dinner Mexican. I don't eat the chips because then I'll blow everything sky high, but I try to take my relaxed meal more in the fat category as opposed to the sugar. So in other words, I'll have, you know, something that I really want, like tacos or a burrito or something like that with rice, as opposed to going and having a half a pie. Because if I take it in the sugar category, that might go on for a week or two because sugar is so addictive for me. Um, 
<laughs> Sometimes you don't look your weight. Why? Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. There are some YouTubers out there that don't, they don't put their weight out there. They don't say the number. I don't care. You know, in the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to say my weight on to the whole public, but I don't know. I just don't care. I've, I always want to know what somebody weighs, so I figure I should tell you guys. Um, so I don't know if they're saying, if that's a good or a bad thing, but I will say that it really depends on the angle of the camera. Like this, my normal setup here, what I always try to do is get it as straight on as I can. I'm a slight bit above here, just because my setup, you know, I can't always get it dead on. But sometimes if the camera is hitting me low or a certain angle or whatever, or I accidentally left the wide angle on, I've done that a couple of times, and that, that will affect how, how we look. Or, you know, sometimes like when I do clothing hauls and I'm standing right at chest level, it looks like, my God, is she like a 46 triple J or what? That's just because of how I'm standing. So there you have it. Um, will you ever do meal plans or a recipe book? If you guys want that, I could. You know, I do a meal plan every single week, but I alter it sometimes. Like if I'm not in the mood for what I planned, I, I'll change it. So if you want meal plans, I can do them. If you want a recipe book, I always was, you know, I did a recipe book a long time ago for my family and it, I really enjoyed doing it. So I could do a recipe book. Yeah. If you guys want that, let me know in comments. Um, whatever happened to your recipe blog? So I do still have it and I'll leave the name of it right here. I had to change the name of it because somebody stole my name. Like there were two days where I went to spam and I didn't see that it was coming due. You know, when you register a domain, it comes due. You have to pay for it every year or two years or whatever it is. It was coming due and I didn't know because it went to spam and somebody bought my name. Why would you want to buy my name? So because of that, I had to change the name of it because somebody has my name. So I'll leave it right here. Now, whatever happened to it? Nothing. There are a ton of fantastic recipes on there. But the reason I haven't been putting recipes on there lately is because it's a ton of work. And I have, I already am super busy. So I try to do it, but I just don't have a ton of time to do it. So I do the best I can with that. And I appreciate those of you who are super nice about it and say, oh, no big deal. I just jot it down as you're saying it in your videos. All right. Now I've got a few more that are not food related. Will you do more clothing hauls? I really enjoy those. So yeah, if you want me to do more clothing hauls, I definitely can. I've been throwing in at least once a week an outfit of the day during like my vlogs. When I do something a little bit more lifestyle related, I'll show my outfit of the day. And I know a lot of you have really enjoyed that. Um, can you please link your clothing and makeup in the description box. Yeah, I do that. I always do that. So let me just explain to you. I know I've been terrible about that, but what I did was I have my Amazon store. They don't let us link things individually anymore. So I have my little Amazon store. That is one link. And anything that works, I can link there, anything that came from Amazon. And then I also have another one called I'm Obsessed With It. And that's more makeup, hair, beauty, things I use on my skin, and clothing. So I have those two places that should have everything, and I'm really good now about going in and updating that. So definitely have that saved somewhere because I do update that. Also, by the way, if you're not in my Facebook group and you're interested, please go join that. It's free. Um, we, I'm in there every day and I interact with you guys. I read all the comments and it's a really good supportive group. There's about 17,000 people in there. So if you're not, if you're on Facebook and you want a little extra support, please check that out. Oh, hold on. I do have one more that is food related. And actually, this is one that I get all the, all the, all the time. Who do you watch on YouTube for Weight Watchers? So I know a lot of people don't necessarily do Weight Watchers anymore. You know, people that were doing it a year ago, maybe they're not doing it anymore. And sometimes your favorite people change programs and then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm left out here with nobody to support me. So I totally get that. I watch um, Jen Clayton, Jen's WW Journey. I watch her. I watch Dish with Thee. I like Kim Truesdale, 
Um, who else is, oh, my friend Jess, she was, she did Weight Watchers for a really long time, and then she did keto for a while, and now she's doing Weight Watchers again, which I'm very thrilled about. Her channel is called Journey to Healthy. I love her. She does a lot of meal prep, so she is back for those of you who didn't know. So those are just a few that I watch. I'm sure there's a lot of others that I'm forgetting, and I apologize if I didn't name you, but I, I watch a lot of, I, you know, sometimes I'll bounce around and look for people. Oh, I've got one that I recently just found. Um, her name is Kim, I believe, Winning at Weight Loss. And her channel is really good. She's lost like 100 pounds. So I just recently found her and I liked her channel as well. So anyway, I don't want this video to go too long, but it looks like I have about 10 more questions. If you guys have any questions that I did not address and you want me to address them in a follow-up video, happy to do that.